Hey guys, I'm going to take an update video of uh, the issue I had on the screen. I actually figured out what the issue was, and surprisingly, it was the 3.3 volt regulator on the back, which I can show you in a second. Right now you can see the colors look good. They don't look washed out. I might be able to hard tell on camera. Let me turn the light off. But the blues are blues, the whites are white, etc., etc., and the blacks are actually deep black and not the gray color. So right now, this board can run off 5 volts or 3.3 volts, and previously I was running off 5 volts. And that's where the issue came in. The onboard regulator was a piece of junk and it was outputting 4 volts. So that's what caused that whole bleeding effect. Now I'm not sure why it only did that when the processor was running, but that's pretty much what the issue was. Right now, I jumped the spot on the back to run 3.3 volts. And there's a teensy and it's got 3.3 volt regulator on the back of it. So right now, everything is running off 3.3 volts. So if you guys have a similar issue where the colors look washed out where the blacks aren't really black and you get an issue when it's running and when you're uploading code then check the output of the regulator because it's probably bad now i'll rip my board out and show you guys real quick what i actually have to do bear with me for a sec now it is a nice little screen and uh, i actually had taken it apart because the guy who sold it to me is going to send me a new screen so i had to get to solder pads on the bottom so he's going to send this not the whole thing so let me show you in the back is it used to be right there but i took them out because i don't want it to cause any issues and then there's a little jumper pad right here where you have to jump if you want to run off, if you want to run it off 3.3 volts yeah i know it's messy i didn't clean it up yet but pretty much that's what the issue was is the regulator that's on there but you do have to be careful because it's not a normal pin out i believe it's ground out and input. Normally it's input, ground, and out. So if you do order a replacement, make sure that you get the right legging on it. So pretty much that's what I did, and it all works great now. Now, hopefully, he will actually send me a new screen to replace it because this one, the back came off. So it's a sticker, it was glued on. So when I took the screen off, the backing stayed and the panel came up. So once I replace that, it should be all nice to go. So, if you guys have the same issue or similar issue, check that regulator, try replacing it, or just try running the whole board off 3.3 volts if it's compatible. Usually there's instructions like uh, soldering a jumper or something along those lines. So, thanks for watching. Thought I'd let you know.